Hello everyone, it's Mix here again with another video tutorial. This time we're going to look at modifying your truck's camera positions to give you all round better visibility to facilitate those awkward maneuvers. Not only that, but if you're into creating your own videos, it will give you some extra options to take your videos to another level. Coming up are some uh, before and after shots of the changes you can expect, starting with the chase camera. the cabin camera, the bumper camera, and finally the rear view camera. So with all that said, let's begin. Okay, so just a quick note, for those of you who are not familiar with how to create the my, your mod folder, please have a look at the video in the link below. It's the setup video, it shows you exactly how to create this my mod folder. But for those of you who've done it already, here we go. Open it up, you, you can remember the structure, the last video we did was regarding the damage data. We're going to add to this mod right now. So what you need to do is go find your base folder, open that up, let's move this down here, and we're going to go into the def, right click within your mod, say new, say folder, and you call that, we're going to need camera, so call that camera. Enter, and then enter again to open it up. Let's open up camera. The next thing we're going to need is units. So right click, create new folder. And you say units. Enter, enter to open it up. Okay. Let's go back into your def, into your base folder, uh, base uh, thing. Right. We're going to need five files over here. First one we're going to need is basic rotation. So right click and copy here. Do not move it because then you're removing from your main game. Next, next we need is the bumper basic, so right click and drag across, say copy here. The next one we need is cabin basic, so right click, copy. And then for the next camera, this is pertinent to what you drive. So in my case, I drive the Scania S, so I'm going to right click and copy that over. But if you drive a MAN or a Renault or a whatever, a Volvo, you have to find the file that uh, is relevant to the truck you drive and that's the one that you're going to change if you drive multiple trucks you're going to have multiple files but they will all have the same structure inside the file i'll show you just now but each one will need its own file then to adjust the offsets in that camera and the last one we need will be the window basic so right click copy it over there we go we've got five files in there those are the five we need we can close the base that one, we can close that one up completely. Now, we have to open these up in Notepad. So I'm just going to... Come on. There we go. All right. Let's open up the first one. Bumper Rotation Basic. Yeah, we're going to change six or so items. First one we're going to look at is... this. Remember, this is the chase camera. So the camera behind the truck. Uh, from the intro, you saw the before and after pics. The default is very close. You can't really see anything around you. You just basically see the back of the truck. With the uh, uh, changes, it's much further back, so it gives you a much bigger field of view, a much bigger area that you can visualize. And to achieve that, the distance interval, we'll have to change. Basically, what I've done is I've gone up by 10 meters. So I've added a 1 in front of that and a 1 in front of that. So it's 14 and 19 versus 4 and 9. And the next thing we need to change is the distance default. I've gone up there with a further 10 meters as well. So that becomes 19. And the next one we're going to look at is the distance trailer default. Remember now, this is the chase camera. Once you're on the road and you're towing a load, you've got your trailer behind you. Depends on how close you want to be. I've set mine to 25.5. So it's I've gone up quite a bit because I felt it was too close. It didn't give me much, especially if you're driving along and suddenly you get to a stoppage in the road, especially with the density as we're going to change it. You can see it's going to be quite dense. There's going to be activity on the road. There's going to be chaos at, at times. And you want to see up ahead. So this chase camera, if you activate it, you'll, it will give you a much further view and a much better elevation to be aware of what's going on in front so you can take evasive action or you know plan your next move. So that's what that will do. The next thing we're going to look at is elevation default. I've actually lowered this one because I found that the default is too high. Uh, from the point of view of the camera, if you're looking down at the truck, that's basically all you can see is the truck. You don't really get much 
view going forward. So I've lowered that. So I've not lowered it. I basically have just adjusted the angle at which the camera sits uh, in respect to the truck. So now you get a much further view or f field of view than what you would at 18. But this is all preferential. You can adjust it according to what you want. Remember, the higher you go, the more steep it's going to be. The lower you go, the more flat it's going to be. So just keep that in mind. Okay, and then the next one is height limit. There again, we got to change this. I've changed this to 10.5. Yeah, again, in relation to the elevation default, I've changed the height limit as well. So that is basically the chase camera sorted and done. Uh, further down, you will get other things. You don't want to mess with this. These are all coordinates for your cameras. You don't want to mess with any of that. And yeah, it's all about the mouse and the, 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 the speeds and all that. Don't mess with any of this stuff. The rest, yeah, this one is done. You can save this file and you can close it. Now let's open up the bumper. There we go. Right, bumper, what I've done is... Because of, uh, like I explained before, when you get into a big city and there's a lot of prefabs and there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of density, it takes up the resources the resources of your machine. So your graphics card takes a hit, your CPU takes a hit, and your frames start to suffer. What I've done is I want to keep my uh, field of view and my, my, my head position as, a, as the driver in the same view, except I want to remove the cab the mirrors i want to remove those so basically the bumper camera has just been raised and that you will change here uh if you look at these values here this whole section of here what it, the first value is left to right that one's top to bottom and the third value is back to front so front to back the movements i'm talking about the movements uh so your left to right you want to keep it in the position that it is at your top to bottom that's the one you want to change okay i want to go up about a meter so we'll change that to two, okay? And that is basically all you need to change inside this folder, uh, this file. Um, bumper moved up a meter, and once once you change it in game, you'll see that you're basically at the same position, and it's not. Uh, you've basically just removed the cap. You've just opened up the, the 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 screen to being just one one big portrait. What you can do if you find that that's not to your liking adjust it by decimals don't adjust it too much on the on the first number on the second number you can adjust because the minute you go on that first number you're going to start moving out of the cab up north you can get out of the cab so just keep that in mind okay save this one let's move on to the next one close that next one we're going to do is cabin basic and that one has got Okay, this is very little. C camera field of view. Because of my triple screen setup, the field of view, I wasn't very happy with it. it I was getting too much uh, of the, 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 the sides of the, of the truck in my view. So I've changed that to 62. And what you can do as a, as a tidbit to remember for future, if you want to keep those values, if you're not sure about those values, just add or tab, tab, move it away, and then add a hashtag. So that's shift three. Uh, that anything after the hashtag or a double forward slash that value there as well anything after that the computer recognizes as non-readable so it will not read anything past those two characters okay but i leave it there in case i need to adjust it again you know if you do testing whatever and you come back and you forgot what the value is this is a quick reminder so all you have to do is just delete that or just change that and you keep going until you find the right setup but for me it's 62 and then the shake animation step, uh, I've actually halved that. What I've done is I've changed it to 0 0.07, uh, tab, tab, shift three. And that has minimized, it, it's, the view is now more fluid. It's less bumpy, uh, smoother. This is for the, for the cabin, for the cab inside. If you like the movement, you know, double it, make that 30, but for me, this is all preferential. I halved it and that worked for me. And that's all I'm going to change here. Like I said, you don't mess with the coordinates. Uh, save that. Close that one. Let's go into the interior. Okay, this is the file where this is all up to your own uh, preference to what you drive. And this is basically 
The reason for this one is because SES has removed the seat SUI file. That was the file that could adjust the limits of your seat position. Uh, since I think I think it's version 143 that they've actually removed it, or 142 around there. And it was a useful file to have. It was a useful tool because that gave you unlimited movement, freedom of movement with your seat. So you could basically sit in the back of the truck if you wanted and still steer from there. Uh, they've removed it now and I cannot find the place where that gets adjusted because for you to adjust your seat, you have to literally go and on your keyboard, press F4 and then 1, that will give you your seat adjustment. And that is now very limited. And if your field of view is, not, is set, uh, or if you've, if you've changed your field of view because of your screens and all that, which normally will happen if you've got three screens, uh, then it, it limits your seat movement. But if you're on a single screen setup, I don't think you need to worry about this too much because it won't affect you that much. But I'm talking about now guys who runs with uh, three screens, that kind of thing. That uh, has forced me now to have a rethink on how I need to adjust my seat because my field of view is very limited. And if I leave it the way it is, I cannot see my right hand mirror. That's that's the problem. And you obviously need the right hand mirror. So what I've done here is it's only basically one value that you need to change. And that's under Add uh, offset. I'm just going to add a little piece here for reference so you can see. Ctrl-C, I'm going to put that there. Tab, tab, control V. All right. That gives you a reference of what each value does. So the first value is left to right, the second value is top to bottom, and the third value is back to front. So that is relative movement of your head or your driving position. Okay. So that I'm going to change now. I'm going to lower. Uh, the this value i'm going to put a, a minus in there right and then the second value which is back to front i'm actually going to decrease that value to two all right so i've moved it back i've moved it back uh to give me a better field of view without changing the field of view and i think all right and then there's one more thing you can change if i go down here to i think it's this one yeah okay here we go the AR90, this this section over here. You can adjust these values over here. I've done this, all right? The problem with this, though, is once, uh, when you get into the truck and you start driving, it's perfect. The, you get you can move all the way back by changing the, the, the limits, okay? The problem with that is once you press F4 and 1 to go into your seat adjustment and you adjust your seat, it goes back to default. So no matter what you do here, the minute you adjust your seat, it goes back to the default settings and you lose the settings. So this has no relevance anymore. Okay, so I didn't even bother with this anymore. It gave me no, no joy, so I just left it alone. I will keep digging into this to see if I can find out where we can adjust it, even if it's in the UI or maybe allow the limits on the UI to, to you know, give you greater uh, movement. But I haven't had the time to yet uh, figure that one out. I will. Uh, and believe me, I will find I will find a, a result for that. But for now, this is what we got, and it's what works at the moment. So save this file. You can close it. And the last one we're going to do is Windows Basic. Uh, not Windows Basic. It's Window Basic. And this is the one. Uh, it's number five on your keyboard. Uh, not the num numeric pad. The, the the normal straight bar numbers. Five gives you the window view. So basically, is when you stick your, your arm out the window, you look you look out, that's the view you're going to get. This one, I've, I don't really use that view, so I've used this one now to give me a rear view camera. It helps me when I need to reverse park, if I need to look behind me. And it's a nice feature when you're making videos. Uh, if you want to look back, if you want to see the, the volume of traffic behind you, if you want to see the congestion, that kind of thing. It's a very nice add-on. It's a very nice camera to have. Uh, it's useless when you have a big load behind you, like a big uh, box trailer. Then it doesn't really, it blocks most of your view. But if you go to a trailer with cars, for example, or uh, heavy machinery where there's, you know, there's gaps and there's, there's perforations and it, it's very nice. It really gives you a nice perspective of what's going on behind you and you can see the traffic flow, the volumes. You can see all that. It's actually very, very nice. So what I'm going to do here is just add that same thing so control v all right again here we're going to change a couple of things the head offset the this is the position of the where the camera is going to be so left to right i want to make that one point zero k 
Okay, the second one is top to bottom. I'm going to make that 1.5. That is the height of the camera. And then the last one is the front to back. I want to move it slightly off the rear of the, of the truck. So basically just off it. Just to give it some, some depth. And that will position the camera relative to the truck. Okay, so it will center the truck. It will lift to the to the roof of the truck and it will basically move it slightly away from the edge of the truck and then okay the this is very important then the, the the values i'm going to give you now is you can change them but you see they're not going to help you if you change them these are the exact values you got to use other than this it's not going to look it's not going to look right it's going to be off offset it's going to be off angle it's going to be tilted so use these va values as I'm putting them in now. So it's 90. This we're going to change to 270. So if you take 270 minus 90, that gives you 180. So that's going to be basically your field of view, 180 degrees, all right, at a V from your camera. So if, if you've got the camera in front of you and you basically move your angle towards your left, you're going to move, uh, what's that, 90 degrees. And then from the center to the right, you're going to get another 90 degrees. So you're basically going to have a V form shape coming out of your camera, which is a very nice view to have. Uh, the next one is your mouse up limit and your mouse down limit. You don't want to look down at the floor. You don't want to look up at the sun. So change that to 45 and this one to 45. It limits your view to 90 degrees total. Okay. Just going to change this that doesn't look right all right then the next one we're going to look at is your mouse up down default from from start when you switch on this camera uh, basically what it's got you now is at 20 degrees uh down so from zero plane 20 20 degrees down you that's too low uh if you look at that view but you're basically looking at the end of your rear axle that's too low so change that to 10 degrees okay that is enough that gives you very nice perspective and that's all you've got to change on this one. And that's done. You can save this file. Once you go into the game, you'll see this is a, actually a very, very nice. And another thing, you can bind the key to your, to your wheel. If you've got a multiple uh, button wheel or whatever, uh, you can bind to one of the keys on your wheel. And while you're driving, you can literally, you know, just pop up the rear view mirror and have a look at it. It's actually quite nice. All right. I think we're done, yeah? Uh, all we need to do now is to put this into a format that um, Eurotruck will recognize and like I said before highlight everything right click add to archive and as you guys know there's three things the three rules we have to follow first rule is change the file association to SCS the archive format is a zip uh, format and the compression method is store if you don't do it this way it's not going to work there's just no way Compression method is normal, fastest, it doesn't work. It has to be a store compression. And it is a zip uh, format. And you have to change the extension to SCS. Uh, why? Oh, there we go. Yeah, SCS. All right. So once you've done that, say, OK. Bob, there we go. The, the mod is done. You can just drag it out onto your desktop. Move here. Close this up. Just to double check, you open it up. There's your format, def, camera is there, open it up, units is there. Let's look at Windows Basic. It's the one that did the most work. And let's have a look over here. There we go. Head offset 1, 1 1.5, 0. Yeah, it's all there. Everything's been changed and has been saved and we're good. All right, so we can close that. We can now close this as well. All you got to do now is move this into your Euro Truck mod folder. Move that in there. Once you open the game, enable it in your mod manager. Make sure it gets priority because if it doesn't, obviously anything, any other mod that's there that shares the same files, they will take preference. So make sure that this is always on top. And that's as simple as it gets. Guys, if you like this video, there's more to come. Believe me. Uh, subscribe, like and share and click on the, the bell. Get the alerts coming in because there's a lot of content coming in. I'm really making a point of getting all this content out. And it's going to get awesome. Very soon, you're going to have a mod that gives you the density you want. You know, you're going to feel like it's very realistic. Believe me. Anyway, thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until the next one.